Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi Mathematics, happy to see you here. Today we have a very interesting exponential equation, 2 to the x equal to 2x, and we need to find our x. A lot of students may be saying, hey mister, this is the easiest question I ever seen, because right here by inspection, x is equal to 1, it looks like a correct expression, because 2 to the first equal to 2 times 1, it's a correct expression, so maybe x is equal to 1, and that's it. And I'm going to say that we need to know about really interesting approach, we need to know about math algorithm, how can we solve this question. So right now I'm going to show you how can we solve this question correctly, and step by step and not with inspection method which can be like sometimes wrong so right now let's look at my at my solution so first of all let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x so let's do this our first step we're going to divide both sides by 2 to the power x so as a result we have 2 to the x over 2 to the x equal to 2x we're going to divide by 2 to the power x our first step, we just divide both sides. Uh, here's our division. We divide both sides by 2 to the x. Nothing changed. We just divide uh, both left and right by 2 to the power x. And the next step, right here we have 1 because we cancel our numerator and denominator. We have both the same thing on both uh, numerator and denominator. So as a result, we have 1 on the left side. And on the right side, we have 2x divided by 2 to the power x. The next step I'm going to do, I'm going to change position because we prefer our constant on the right side, right here we have it on the left side, so right now let's change position. We can easily do this because this is like basic thing, this is equal sign. So as a result we have 2x over 2 to the power x equal to equal to 1. All right, I really hope you understand this step. What we're gonna do next? I'm going to write this two to the x in our numerator, okay? But don't forget about really important property. When we bring, for example, we have a to the power n, when we write it from our denominator to numerator, we need to put minus right here, okay? So right now we will have not two to the x by times two to the two x times two to the power x. We will have two x times two to the power minus x, okay? Equal to equal to one. All right, so we really hope you understand this, this tricky move. What are we going to do next? The next step, we need to know about Lambert W function. This function looks like that. When we have expression like a times e to the power a, when we apply Lambert W function from this expression, as a result, we have only our a. So the main idea, we need to create this type of structure on our left side. For example, when we have like... 2 times e to the power 2, when we apply lambda w function of this expression, we will have only 2, which simplifies us a lot. So right now let's try to create something like that, something like this type of structure on our left side. First of all, and really important step, is to create e. We don't have e, we have 2x, we have 2 minus x, so we, we, we don't have e at all. But we can easily create it. Instead of this 2, let's write the next, the next expression. Let's write, instead of this 2, let's write e to the power natural log natural log 2. We can easily write it like that, okay? So right now, instead of these two, we're going to write this expression. Let's start, for example, from the left side, okay? So we have 2x times, instead of these two, we're going to write this one, e to the power natural log 2. But don't forget about this minus x. We still have this power, okay? We have minus to the power minus x and equal to equal to 1. Really great. Right now, this one can be easily raised by this minus x. It looks like a to the power x raised to the power y, we can easily write it as a to the power x times y. We can easily multiply our powers. So as a result, we have 2x times e to the power, but let's write first of all our minus x in the beginning, minus x times natural log, natural log 2, and equal to, I guess, equal to 1. So we really hope you understand this step. We just raise this expression by this by this minus x. What we're gonna do next? Right now, let's multiply both sides by this natural log 2. Why we multiply both sides by this natural log 2? Because we are talking about we are talking about creating a correct expression. So right now let's multi multiply both sides by this natural log 2. So times natural log 2. When we when we multiply both sides by natural log 2, we will have 2x times natural log 2 times natural log 2 times e to the power minus x times natural log 2 and equal to natural log 2. Natural log 2. Okay, why I do this? Because right now, if you look closely at this structure, a times e to the power a. Right here we have e, and right now my main idea is to create the same expression on this part and on this part. If you look closely, we have x natural log 2, we have x natural log 2, so it looks like a little bit closer to the expression that we need to create, but right here we have 2. We don't need it, so right now let's divide both sides by these two, because we, right here we have x natural log 2, right here we have x natural log 2, with minus, okay, but it, not necessary right now to talk about this minus. Let's, let's divide both sides by these two. When we divide it, 
uh, when we divide by 2, we will have, um, we can easily cancel it from the left side as a result, so we will have x natural log 2 times e to the power minus x natural log 2 equal to natural log 2 divided by 2. All right, so I really hope you understand this step. You can easily pause the video and you can easily see this right now. First of all, we divide, we multiply by natural log 2, then we will have like a, a really great expression right here and right here. And the second step is to divide it by 2, because we don't need this 2 right here, we need to create same expression. And if you look closely, we have a completely same expression on both sides, because we have x times natural log 2, and in the power we have minus x times natural log 2. So when we multiply both sides, by minus 1, or divide doesn't matter, we will have the same beginning, but with the minus sign, because we multiply it by minus sign, so we have minus x natural log 2 times e to the power minus x natural log 2 equal to minus natural log 2 over over 2. And after these three steps, the first step, multiplying by natural log 2, then division by 2, and then multiplication by minus 1, we can easily see, okay, minus x natural log 2, for example, this is our a, and we have minus x natural log 2 as the power, so this is also our a, okay? And right now we can easily apply Lambert W function because we have a great structure for us. We have a times e to the power, a times e to the power a. As a result, we have Lambert W function of minus x natural log 2 times e to the power minus x times natural log 2 equal to, don't forget about right side, right side we also need to take Lambert W function of minus natural log 2 over over 2. Really great. So right now Lambert W function of this expression as it will before equal to only our a. a in our case equal to minus x times natural log 2. So as a result we will have minus x natural log 2 equal to Lambert W function of this expression minus natural log 2 over 2. So as you can see this function simplifies us a lot. Uh, we have from here we have all this this expression without Lambert W function, without E, we have only minus x natural log 2 which is also which is also really great. What are we gonna do next? Right now of course we need to multiply, we need to divide both sides by this natural log 2, okay, because we need to find our uh, we need to find our uh, x, not like uh, minus x natural log 2. So as a result we have minus x equal to Lambert W function of minus natural log 2 over 2, we divide it by natural log 2. Okay, and right now the final step, because we have minus right here, so the final step to multiply both sides by minus 1. Okay, multiply or divide doesn't matter. From here what do we have? We have that our x is equal to minus Lambert W function of this expression of minus natural log 2 over 2 and we divide all of this stuff by natural log natural log 2. But with one really interesting moment, this Lambert W function had a lot of indices, branches, so we need to put right here our n. So this is our basic, basic solution. But this Lambert W function can uh, have like a lot of a lot of branches. So I find these branches for you. So we are talking about two roots. In this case, we will have two roots. The first one, so x first. So let's write our final answer. Looks like our final answer to this question. So x first equal to, we will have a Lambert W function with this in this at the zero of minus natural log two over two, we divide it by natural log two. And we also have the second solution, the second root. So we have x second equal to minus Lambert W function with this in this minus one of minus natural log two over two and we divide it by natural log, natural log 2. And it's also really great, but a lot of students are confused about this about these roots because they prefer like integer solution or decimal solution, yeah? So right now I show it for you because from here, when we plug in this, this expression in a calculator, for example, like the basic one or like scientific graphing calculator, from here x first equal to 1. This is also a solution when x, uh, this is our answer, when we plug in these coefficients, when we plug in this constant in our, in our basic calculator, we will have x equal to 1. And from here, we have x second equal to, from here, x second equal to 2. This is our answer, maybe you're sitting on your exam, this is absolutely enough for you, because we are talking about a solution, this is a great solution, yeah, but if you're talking about uh, exact value, x first equal to 1, x second equal to 2, and obviously these roots are obvious for us because we are talking about a very easy expression, we are talking about 2 to the x equal to 2x, and a lot of students solve this question and they say, okay, x first equal to 
uh, equal to 1 because they think okay 2 to the power 1 equal to 2 times 1 and also a correct a correct expression but a lot of students forget about uh, x second equal to 2 so when we plug in x second equal to 2 we also have a solution so 2 to the power 2 equal to 2 times 2 so we have 4 equal to 4 which is also a correct a correct solution so this is a correct solution and this is also a correct solution so right now we can see a graph you can see the plot of this challenge you can see these points of intersection you can easily see this from geometrical perspective which is also really great like to see this from from another perspective not from not in only in algebraic perspective but also in geometric perspective it's also it's also really great to see it so this is my explanation to this question i really hope you understand it i really hope you learned something new you can also write your solution down into the comment section write your notes about this question down into the comment section and i want to say thank you everyone for your time for your support for your for watching my videos i really appreciate it i have more than 300 math videos so i really appreciate that you watch and you support my channel with with a kind comment or with a bad comment doesn't matter you leave a like you leave a dislike it doesn't matter as well i really appreciate you respond because there are a lot of videos and i really think thank you for your for your time for your for your likes for your dislikes i really appreciate it thank you everyone for you for your time see you in the next videos and have a great day